Diagrid Catalyst is a suite of unified APIs for messaging, data, and workflow that frees developers from the challenges of technology fragmentation, such as code sprawl, infrastructure lock-in, and ever-increasing security vulnerabilities. Developers can leverage a consistent standard set of APIs backed by the open source CNCF project Dapper to implement tried and true development patterns and practices when creating solutions composed of a variety of languages, frameworks, cloud platforms, and infrastructure services. In order to develop applications using Diagrid Catalyst, it all starts with creating a project. Your project will act as a deployment boundary for a set of related Catalyst resources. During project creation, you can also deploy managed infrastructure resources hosted and managed by Diagrid. For example, you can deploy a Diagrid PubSub broker for use with the Catalyst PubSub API, or Diagrid's key value store for use with the key value API. Last but not least, you can configure the workflow API, offloading the management of workflow state to the Catalyst service, removing the need to configure and manage an external workflow data store. Once our project is ready, we should be able to navigate to the Manage Services tab to see the PubSub broker, and the key value store that were deployed along with the project. In order to begin using the APIs with these services, the next step in the process is to create one or more app IDs. Each app ID within a project represents an individual external application. The Catalyst app ID acts as an entity through which policies, permissions, resiliency, and API access are configured for a specific application which will be sending or receiving Catalyst requests. To start, the only required parameter is the app ID name. Let's create one now and dive into the app ID settings and configuration. Let's take a look at the newly created app ID. You'll note there's an API token for each app ID. These API tokens are used by the calling application to secure the requests coming into the Catalyst APIs. This will be used for apps which perform actions like publishing messages or managing application state via the key value API. Additionally, you can connect your app ID to an external application endpoint. This is useful for making sure that things like messages get delivered to your external application for processing, invocation requests are received, or the application can be triggered by things like an input binding. Let's take a look at another project available within the organization. In this project, there are three application IDs. Because the app ID can be associated to applications running anywhere, the order producer has an app endpoint connecting to an AWS app runner instance. At the same time, one of the consuming applications is running on Azure Container Apps. In addition to connecting our app IDs to applications running anywhere, we can also configure the Catalyst APIs to target a multitude of generic or cloud-specific infrastructure services using connections. If we take a look here to this project, it has two managed connections created out of the box, one targeting the managed Diagrid PubSub broker and another for the Diagrid key value store. There's also additional connections targeting a variety of AWS and Azure resources. To create a new connection, it's as simple as choosing the API connection type, which in this case will do state, for example, and selecting a target infrastructure service. We'll choose Azure Blob Storage. We can restrict access to a given app ID or to a set of app IDs for use with this connection. In this case, I only want to provide access from the Python consumer. Then I'll provide authentication credentials in order to authenticate to that blob storage running in Azure. Finally, I have a couple of required configuration items We'll provide a name, so we'll say AWS blob, and we'll provide the container which we want to connect to, which in this case is orders. You can optionally configure additional items and set resiliency policies, which will ensure state management operations are resilient to your backing Azure blob storage. With our connections and our app IDs in place, we can easily compose applications together using the unified programming model and standard Dabberback APIs. For PubSub, we additionally can create declarative topic subscriptions in Catalyst to inform the PubSub API where to deliver messages published on specific topics. Before deploying any code, 
We can test and interact with the Catalyst APIs and the available infrastructure targets using the API Explorer. If we navigate to the API Explorer, we'll select one of the available APIs and one of the app IDs, which will be executing a request. In this case, we can select a particular PubSub connection to use with the API. Let's select the Diagrid PubSub broker. We'll pass in a particular order payload, and we'll publish the message to a given topic called orders. When we send the request, we receive a 204, which indicates that the message was successfully published. We can also navigate to the logs and see that the order producer app ID made an inbound app ID request to the PubSub connection on the orders topic and received a 204. Here we are in a VS Code terminal. The Catalyst APIs can be invoked via HTTP, gRPC, or the existing Dapper SDKs, which is recommended. We can see here the simplicity of the code required to publish a message using the Catalyst unified programming model. This code publishes a message to the orders topic on the PubSub connection. Catalyst provides easy dev commands that automatically inject the required environment variables to configure the Dapper client to use the Catalyst APIs. Let's see this in action by generating a local dev config file. Once this is scaffolded, it will return a list of app IDs in my project with all of the necessary environment variables the SDK needs to configure itself against the Catalyst project. I've also provided some additional parameters like the application run commands and an application port, which will be used to establish connectivity from an app ID to my local machine if the application needs to respond to particular events or receive invocation requests from the Catalyst platform. Once we do a Diagrid dev start, it'll use this dev config file to launch the applications as specified and create the local app connections where needed. If we test out the order publisher, we can actually see that the subscribers receive that message and are able to use the connections in order to produce an output binding and save state. We'll also see that both of these consumers now have a local Diagrid app connection making sure that all of the incoming messages are sent to the local terminal. In addition to the other features you've seen today, Catalyst also provides visualization and observability. For example, we can see all of the application IDs within a project and how they interact with each other using the APIs. If I isolate on a particular application ID, I can visualize metrics and see the connections used. I can iso also isolate on a given connection in order to see the end-to-end -end flow of information and API calls throughout my entire system. To explore all the features of Diagrid Catalyst, sign up for early access today.